What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about how to deploy Chrome using Intune. So let's get right into that. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is download Chrome. So open up your favorite browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome and we are going to type in this address and hit enter. It's going to take us here. We're going to scroll down a little bit to this section here and locate the file type and click on the drop down and then pick MSI and then click on the download button, accept and download and done, All right? On the lower left hand side, you're going to see your download has completed. We're going to click on the little arrow, click on show in folder and there goes our MSI file, awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is log into our Microsoft 365 admin center. On the left hand side, click on show all, locate endpoint manager. And from here, let's click on apps and click on all apps and click on the add button. Once you do that, a side menu is going to appear on the right hand side. So click on the drop down menu and then locate line of business app and click on it. You're able to read all this information. Once you're done, click on select. Now, once you get this window right here, let's locate select app package file. That is a hyperlink. So click on it and it's going to give you another side menu. We're going to click on that little blue icon that looks like a folder and locate our MSI file. So select it, click on open and then click OK. Once you do that, you're going to enter all this information right here. Everything that has a red asterisk, just enter the information. And once you're done, scroll all the way down. And for me, I wanted to add a logo. So click on select image. You're going to get a side menu. So click on that little blue icon that looks like a folder. Select your image, click on open. Once your image is uploaded, click OK. On the upper right hand side, you're going to see that your image was uploaded successfully. And now you're able to click on next. Now it's time for us to assign groups. So click on add groups, you're going to get a side menu, pick your group. For this example, for this video, I pick my autopilot devices. So whatever device is inside that security group is going to get this app. So click on select, click next, a nice little summary, click create. And on the upper right hand side, you're going to see saving application. Eventually it's going to change to application is created. Give it some time. And then you're going to see a new task within the notification section saying uploading Google Chrome. If you click on the bell, you're going to see all the events that are happening. Give it some time. And eventually the uploading Google Chrome is going to give a green check mark that it has completed uploading, which is a good thing. On the Google Chrome section, on the overview, it's going to refresh. It's going to give you all the information, the device status and the user status. It takes some time for the tenant to actually get some information. But if you go into that machine, uh, well, when I went to that machine, I saw on the desktop that Google Chrome automatically was on the desktop and that was like super fast. And if you go inside start, you see within the recently added Google Chrome. And if you go inside control panel and within programs and features, you're going to see that Google Chrome was installed and it was really seamless and really fast. I really like this approach of how to install applications with Intune. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.